What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today we're going to take a look at my challenge of the elders looting results across all three of my characters but before we get into the video tell me down below in that comment section what you guys got from the prison of the elders this week did you get anything you need or want let me know also let me know what level you are I'm still yet to hit a level 335 and any of my characters all my characters are still at 334 which is crazy but like I've said before I don't really want to rush it because once I hit that 335, I'll have to chase something else to keep that grind up. I don't know what that is. But anyway, let's take a look at the loot I received. And starting on my Hunter, from the 30k package, I received the Queen's Fusion Rifle, offering 334 attack with Solar Burn, Mods were Underdog and Knee Pads. To be honest, I ain't really into fusion rifles, but if I was, this still wouldn't be a first choice weapon, as its role ain't that great in my opinion. Moving on, and from the 90k package, on my Hunter, I received the Warden's Path Leg Armors. These also drop in one under max level at a 334, which is a bitch. They offer discipline and strength. Mods are increased the amount of ammunition you can carry for fusion rifles or rocket launchers. And increased agility for 5 seconds after a void double kill. Moving on to my Titan and from the 30k package I received the Bane of the Taken Heavy Machine Gun. Offering 335 attack with Solar Burn. Mods are Counterbalance and Grenadier. Yeah. Have an injection mode for even more stability which this weapon needs in my opinion. Ain't so bad at all. For sure this is far from the best roll you could get on this weapon but it definitely ain't the worst. Okay so from the 90k package I received the Quirus of the Witness Chest Armor offering 335 defense also. With intellect and discipline this piece offered increased ammunition for pulse rifles or shotguns and a choice between either void burn defense or void armor. Not a bad chest piece at all. Okay so moving on to my Warlock and from the 30k package I received her revenge hand cannon offering a 334 attack one below par. Mods were underdog and life support, with also lightweight small ball and rifle barrel as well. Moving on to my 90k package, and I received the Keeper Cloak, which is a chest piece. This dropping at a 335 defense, which is great, offering intellect and discipline. Mods allow me to carry more ammunition for scout rifles or shotguns, so pretty decent indeed. But guys, that is it for another week of the Challenge of the Elders. Not bad loot whatsoever. Now I'm still after a Queen Sniper Rifle with a Beast Roll, so I'll keep on grinding until a decent sniper drops. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video, do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. Thanks for stopping by as always, and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong.